got myself a uh, trailer mate jack and fitted it to my caravan uh, one of the main reasons is that with this weight distribution hitch i can't use that jockey wheel without disconnecting that and it's because that's carrying all the weight of the van i can't take any weight off with the wheel first it's uh, quite a strain on my back so i've fitted this trailer mate jack here and the beauty of that is i can with both bars fitted uh, i can take the weight off see the vehicle coming up i can take the weight off off the bars in such a way that uh, when i want to disconnect take this off it's uh, quite easy okay whereas without if i let this down see how far it comes down and the tension on it is 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 massive so uh, it makes quite a big difference okay. the other thing that uh, is quite good with this is if you want to put a wheel on the bottom of your trailer mate you can just pull that pin out and that drops off and you can pop the wheel on and uh, insert the pin and uh, that just clips onto there and then you've got just like a normal jockey wheel so if you're worried about disconnecting your, your van and the, there's a bit of tension on it and you think that it may move a bit you can put that wheel on which will give you movement um, to stop any straining on the on the jack one of the other ad advantages of the trailer mate jack is that you can actually use it as a jack to jack your caravan that part there you get two of those come with the jack or i did and you, that's welded onto your chassis there's a bit of a trick with jaco i'll tell you about that in a, in a little while but i'll just show you how the jack works all you need to do is attach this attachment to the to the jack and just line it up with whoops got to let it down a fraction that's it line it up with the groove so that it comes up under under there like such just make sure you get positioned properly you're up and down that way and that way properly and then just start jacking keep jacking until you've got the wheels off the ground so we keep jacking until the wheels off the ground both wheels that one won't spin it's unless we've got to go a bit, a bit higher and uh, the main thing to remember is read the instructions don't ever get under the van with it jacked up uh, without safety stands and so on it's too dangerous now there's one other thing that I'll tell you is how to make a Jayco compatible to take this jack because there is a slight uh, difference that uh, needs to be attended to now Jayco uh, cut their chassis at a 45 degree angle every, every Jayco van I've had has been the same uh, and what we want is the chassis to come out straight up and down there so that we've got the full strength under the plate that we're going to weld onto it so uh, it's just a bit of fabrication needed and uh, you'll see that in a second okay so what I made up using Angoline um, preferably galvanized Angoline was um, a uh, section to square this off as you can see bolted it on nice and strongly through the chassis and then welded this plate onto that and now you've got a nice strong uh, lift with uh, that will cope quite adequately with the weight of the van.